Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we are looking at five growth at a reasonable price of stocks. I will explain what that means in a second. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe, like the videos, and let me know if you have any questions. I'm sharing my journey, like I've said today in my other video. Um, I just want to share my journey. I want to explain what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and be transparent enough, okay? Transparency is very important to me, and I will carry on doing that, inshallah. One of the things that I want to talk about very quickly is just the markets. The markets is open right now, and it looks quite, you know, bit red, whatever. And when you see this, a lot of people just kind of panic, start selling their product, basically stocks. And like I've always said, just look at the bigger picture. Okay, so if you look for the week, look at that. For one week, we are up and up a lot. Okay, look at just these companies. You look at Tesla right now, it's down quite a bit. But right now for the week, they are actually up 17.6%. But when you look at it just today, they're down almost 8%. So that is the kind of thing I want you to look at and look at the bigger picture. Don't focus on just the one stock at a time. Okay, right. Growth at a reasonable price means, okay, kind of combining together growth and value investing. As investors, sometimes we say, oh, I'm a value investor. Oh, I'm a growth investor. Okay, why don't you combine the two together, okay, and just come up with some ideas, basically some companies that you could potentially add to your portfolio that has a at basically these attributes. So yeah, like I said, it's really important for us just to kind of um, have a bit of both, okay. Um, because remember, yes, it's good to actually buy stocks at cheap prices. Very good. You know, that's the value investors. That's what we'd like to do. Just make sure you, the companies that you're investing in are not overvalued and then you're going to lose a lot of money all right but you also need to have a little bit bit of growth as well sometimes the growth could be you know you might have a couple of companies in your portfolio just that like the unilevers that procter and gambles that will grow about four percent to seven percent then you might have the top big boys that will grow i don't know 20 20 30 percent every single year so that's basically what we're trying to do so i'm going to share with you today five companies that you could potentially add to your portfolios that probably are right now down because of the markets and the way it's been in the last couple of months, there's a possibility these companies will be at a cheap price right now and potentially might have a lot more upside. So let's have a look at the companies. I've been putting together this um, stock screen myself for a while. It's taken me ages to, do, to put it together. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this just to kind of um, look at it single stocks, okay? Um, I'm not going to use it as much for when I'm doing a lot of analysis because there's a lot of information going on in here. But just a, one single video, uh, one single stock or two single stocks, I can easily quickly do it because I don't want to make the videos too long for you guys. So one of the things I would like you to do is if you are, um, you know, if you're investing in the stock market, let us know what companies you invested in. All right. Just put it in the comment section. And what I might do is if there's companies that I feel like it's a bit more interesting, whatever, or if you, there's a companies that you would like me to look at, let me know. Because what this allows me, OK, and I'll show you very quickly what this allows me is, for example, if I look for Microsoft MSF team, OK, what it allows me to do instead of just looking for the company details, whatever, it automatically puts that data in front of me which is quite nice but it took me a while to put this together and still not finished okay but I can do a quick analysis in this because this data comes from other websites okay so before I used to manually get those information it used to take me ages and if you are genuinely enjoy the videos and you enjoy the transparency and you enjoy what I'm doing here please like the videos it really really genuinely helps okay um, because as I said and previously, I've got, you know, I have, I'm a family man and I've got a full-time job and I'm trying to build this, you know, portfolio as much as I can and share my journey, okay? So I'm putting a lot more time and effort, so I would really appreciate if you can, can give the videos a like. Right, now the company, first company we are looking at is Enki Eve and that is Nike. So we're looking at this company because of the growth side of things, okay? Currently trading 121. A market cap of almost $200 billion. PE is quite high. Price to free cash flow is a little bit high. Price to sell, not a little bit high, very high. Price to sales is low. EPS is nice. And then you can see an EPS in this year and comparison to next year. So next year is actually basically going to be $4.60. And right now it's about $3.78, which is basically good. 
okay because that tells me straight away by just looking at that it's heading in the right directions okay current rate ratio above one which normally we're looking for anything above one because that means the company is able to pay their li current liabilities in the next 12 months if anything happens to it so they have more like um, assets than liabilities current assets than liabilities beta is very low which is quite nice um just looking at this on the top section, I'm not going to focus more on there, but you can see how much the company is actually down from the, its highs. 32% is down from its all-time highs. Last year, okay, so for one year, the company returned basically nothing. <laughs> All you down 10% if you bought it about a year ago. And that's price side things, okay? And then when you look at the five-year return, you can see 128. So if you own this company in the last five years, you'll be up right now 128% in terms of price appreciation. But return on asset, 16%. Return on equity, 43%. Return on investment, 27%. Gross margin of 46. Profit margin of almost 30. EPS in the last five years have grown about 10%. And the shares outstanding right now is $1.58 billion. Now, um, $8 billion. So what that means, okay, these are the shares outstanding that basically that we and you, basically the people that own this um, stock actually have right now. So some companies, they dilute the shares by issuing more shares. And that is something that we need to make sure it doesn't happen. You need to keep an eye on that. Because if you own a company and they buy back their shares, you own more of the company. If they issue more shares your one share is now maybe i don't know 0.75 or whatever it is okay so performance for the year to date we're looking about 26 percent down okay dividend yield um dividend um they have got basically will pay you one dollars and 22 cents dividend yield of just a low one percent payout ratio to only 29 this tells me the company has got enough room to improve basically to increase that dividend every single year and then basically they went and ex dividend today okay so today was the date that they went on ex dividend five year growth rate of 12 percent dividend safety of 99 percent free cash flow of 5.3 billion next five years we're expecting this company to grow and this is one of the reasons i've included in this video is the fact that it's actually um 21 percent and expected to grow 21 percent every single year the earnings and it has a wide mode which is basically means that it has a competitive advantage now in terms of uh, valuations morningstar is saying is 11 percent discounted at the moment 133 dollars uh, is the price they expect to be simply wall street more or less the same 134 tip ranks through um, 36 percent upside and they expected 159 dollars per share and according to yahoo finance which i've included now on the list is 162 dollars per share that's what they are expecting so that's the first company that we're looking at the next one we're looking at is qualcomm and this company is in my portfolio it's the semiconductor companies they sell a lot of the 5g stuff they have got a lot of patent really great company i've done a video if you would like to um look at that one so i've talked about broadcom and qualcomm recently so you check that video out 142 dollars per share current market cap of 166 billion dollars p is very low price to free cash flow uh, i need to double check this i think i might have to do normal calculations by myself because the company i'm getting this information from okay it's somehow that website has a higher price to, um, price to free cash flow than what i've seen in other websites so i might have to do a manual calculation by myself there price to sales just a four um, four which is good eps you know almost ten dollars eps next year about 13 so this is going the right direction again count ratio 1.60 which is perfect and in beta is slightly high because these are vol very volatile companies and as you can see the price is actually the company the stocks down quite a bit and the five years you would have actually made 141 um, percent of your re investment now return on assets 27 percent return on equity 104 percent return on investment 33 percent gross profit um, gross margin sorry 58 and profit margin of 27 okay eps past five years is about 15.60 shares outstanding 1.12 billion and performance so it's down a year to date is down about 20 percent so that tells me you know i'm sure the stock will bounce back and recently it actually started to and then it's down i think it's down quite a bit again today there you go it's about three percent down again this is quite volatile stock so i wouldn't be surprised okay 
Um, dividend wise, they pay you three dollars for every share you own. Dividend yield of two percent. Five um, payout ratio twenty seven percent. It went on ex dividend about a couple of days ago. Five year growth rate of six percent. Dividend safety eighty percent and seven billion dollars in the bank. Next five years is expected to grow, grow their earnings fourteen percent, and it has a narrow which I've always said, okay, according to Monistar, they're saying it's a, it has a narrow moat, but I don't think that's the case. I, because of the patent they have, I will say they have a wide moat. But hey, Monistar says it's fairly valued at the moment, $163 per share. Uh, according to Simply Wall Street, 45% undervalued. They expect the price to be 268 okay? Tip rank is saying 31% upside, 190 Two, okay, and then according to Yahoo Finance, two hundred and two dollars per share. That's what they expected. That is the second company. Okay, the next one we're looking at is a company that I've always talked about and is in my portfolio. Okay, and that is MSFT or Microsoft. Okay, Microsoft obviously. I've talked about obviously talked about it so many times. Okay, currently trading two hundred sixty nine dollars per share. You know how I feel about this company. This is by far one of the best companies out in the world. Um, can you imagine if you had a five years, if you hold the stock for five years right now, you would be up two hundred and seventy three percent up. Okay, again, when it comes to price to to free cash flow, I'll double check that again. But PE is quite. I mean, relatively low, in, basically in comparison. But when you look at this graph, you can see it's been heading downwards, and then it's just bounced back a little bit. It looks like it's going down again today. I think it's down. Yeah, just not bad, but it's down a little bit today again. Price to sales, okay, ten, which is quite nice. When looking at normally tech companies, I would accept about fifteen. Okay, EPS again, really good, and then EPS next year. Okay, the earnings per share of next year is actually 10.77. They've actually revised their, their earnings per share next year, and that's why it was down quite a bit yesterday and then bounced back towards the end of the day. Current ratio two and beta is quite low. In terms of business margins, okay, we're looking at about uh, return on asset of 21, return on equity 47, return on investment 28, gross margin. This is by far one of the companies out there, I'll be honest with you, okay. Profit margin of 24, EPS past five years, 25.75. Even if we had a recession, I think this company will be absolutely fine. $7.49 billion of, um, not a billion dollars, sorry, uh, shares outstanding. Um, performance is basically year to date is about 18%. So it's down 18% from since the beginning of the year. They pay you a nice dividend, okay? And they, I'm sure they are going to increase. $2.48 about just one percent dividend yield payout ratio 25 percent okay five-year growth rates of nine percent dividend safety 99 percent and when it comes to free cash flow they've got about 63 64 billion dollars in the bank next five years they are expected to grow about 16.23 and then it has the economic mode of wide economic mode it's discounted according to morningstar 352 the price uh, basically that is the expected price and same goes for um, Simply Wall Street, more or less the same, but it's slightly higher, I think. There you go, it's like almost 70, something, 80%. Um, yeah, so it's slightly higher, $435 in comparison to 352 They're quite bullish, actually, on this company. That's interesting to see, because I don't think they were like that before. Anyway, tip ranks 29% upside, and that's 356 So these two are similar, and Simply Wall Street slightly um, higher. Analyst at Yahoo Finance are expecting $363 per share. Now, what Yahoo Finance does is actually looks at the, what the analysts from all sorts of banks are doing, and it kind of gives you average. Same goes for tip ranks. But so these why that's why they probably use the same people. That's why they're very, very close all the time. Next company we're looking at is again another company in my portfolio, and that's MRK, and that is Merck. Merck is actually a pharmaceutical company. They've been around for hundreds of years. They have all sorts of products, including cardiovascular, diabetes, and all those. So they have loads of different products that are basically used a lot. And currently trading $90 per share, $227 billion of market cap. P is quite low, price to free cash flow. I don't think that's correct, but I'll double check again. Price to sales is quite nice. PE $5.48. Next year, look at that, seven dollars and thirty-four. Now this is very interesting. Okay, that's really, really good. Okay, for a pharmaceutical company, I'd rather have this company in my portfolio. Okay, than actually Pfizer right now. 
Um, current ratio of one dollars, uh, sorry, one point four zero. So it's above one, which is good. Beta is very very low, and as you can see here, okay, the five year growth is about forty five percent. So you would have actually grown your um, stock for about forty five. Um, percent now in terms of basically the these metrics is actually really healthy company return on 14 percent return on equity 38 return on investment 15 percent gross margin 71 gross margin of 71 but then profit margin is 47 okay last five years eps has grown 28 percent they have 2.53 billion shares outstanding and is actually up 17 percent from basically it's one of the companies that are up okay <laughs> that's in this thing so everything else it looks down but one of the companies up they've been down for a basically down for a long time but they're up right now in terms of dividend this is absolutely brilliant two dollars and 76 three above three percent dividend yield just 47 percent payout ratio okay and then five year growth rate of seven percent 99 percent dividend safety almost 13 percent 13 billion dollars in the bank and 11.62 percent in growth in the next five years okay they have a wide economic mode right now they look like undervalued no matter where you look at okay i'm um, in fact there's something going on there let me just double check what that is i think it's about 92 dollars i think it's definitely 92 dollars um their fair value so i'm not going to check that i'm definitely sure it's 92 dollars or 98 let me double check Right, there you go it's, i was wrong it's 94 dollars per share and that's now there so 94 dollars per share that's what they're expecting so again this is really one of the best companies that i have in my portfolio i just absolutely love their business model they've been around for a long long time and that's why i genuinely don't think they will cut their dividends anytime soon something crazy will happen they were up about 400 um, 500 pounds not long ago it's down a little bit now trading about 90 went up as high as 92 93 whatever it was and at some point i was down about seven eight percent on this company right now i'm up 26 percent okay so that's the one of the companies i talked about the other one was microsoft that i own in my portfolio the other one is qualcomm i also own in my portfolio they're all up um nicely okay the other two i don't i don't own nike or nike whatever you want to call it um and i don't own starbucks so other than that those are the three basically five stocks that i want to share with you and these are companies are called you know growth at reasonable price and all that means is they have the growth side of things so like for example merck is actually growing their business model okay about 11 percent um starbucks is growing all of them are growing at the same time they are value investors at basically they have some value investment attributes so for example they do pay you nice dividend as well as that they are actually discounted price at the moment so you get that basically you're getting a great company for a cheaper price that pays you nice dividend while you wait and the price to basically go back to the fair values so this is it that's what i wanted to share with you today i hope you enjoyed this kind of videos if you do you're still watching the videos let me know what stocks you own let me know stocks that you would like me to do research on okay um i don't really m focus on other countries mainly uk and the us i will be doing a lot more uk stocks very soon as well so i hope you enjoyed the videos have a wonderful day assalamu alaikum